Custom Tools offers different tools for sheet metal and weldment. So now we are going to have a look at the automation of creation of DXF or DWG file. So here we are able to uh, automate the creation of DXF from the port directly without having any drawing. So here I will select the document that has the property DXF. So the documents are automatically created. And here I will create individual DXF. Then I can use the merge DXF to merge a uh, sheet metal into the same DXF or DWG file based on the material used and the thickness of the material. And then we can also uh, automate the creation of DXF for multibody. So I'm going to add a multibody file. So we have the possibility to uh, create a DXF or DWG file per uh, body or then we can merge them. So first I will select the merge multibody. So this will create one DXF with all the body and this individual multibody will create a DXF per body. Then I click OK. So the conversion is a bit accelerated. And now we can have a look at the results. So I will use the Custom Explorer to open the active folder. So first let's check the merge DXF. So here we can see that we have like three files, three DXF with the material and the thickness. And this is a type of DXF file that we are able to create. So as we can see those files can also be customized with custom properties. For example we have the project, material, the, mat the thickness as well as the quantity. Then we can have a look at the individual uh, multi-body port. So here we have one DXF per body. So here is the second one. Or then we can merge a multi-body port into a single DXF. So where we have this type of D DXF file. And then we can look at the other DXFs that were created for the individual port here. And here are the last DXF. We can now have a look at how we can automate the creation of DXF or DWG file for the drawings. So in that drawings we can see that we have some uh, dimensions, we could have some notes, annotation, also the scale is uh, 1 to 5 which we don't want to have when we create a DXF. So I can use a CNC tool so this tool will add a new drawing sheet to my uh, drawing and custom tools will automatically flatten the view. So here we can see that we have the, uh, the view is like scaled 1 to 1 and there is no annotations, notes and it's ready to be converted to DXF. So I have configured custom tools that when the document is saved that particular DXF sheet is converted to DXF. So you can really automate the creation of your DXF files and keep them up to date. Let's have a look now at some of the weldment tools available inside custom tools. So I will use this uh, default port as a weldment. So I can open the properties and here we can see that the belongs to is not filled the property. So I save the document so the name was automatically generated and now I can update the cut list item. So with custom tools you are able to copy cut list item as uh, properties of the uh, model or properties of the drawing. We also have a property pane for uh, weldments or for the cut list item and those are the properties that will be copied to the drawing. So now if I insert this weldment inside that assembly and save that assembly. So I'm doing that so that uh, property belongs to that we had in the weldment can be filled with the name of that assembly. So we know where that weldment is being used. So here we can see the 003. Okay. So now let's create a drawing for that weldment body so that we can, I can show you how the properties from the cut list item were copied.
So now I will insert a view inside my drawing and then select a body that I want to use to make that specific drawing. So this feature is very useful if you make uh, drawings per body. Now we can zoom and here we have the different properties that will be filled. So when I rebuild we can see that we have the belongs to and then we also have the properties from the cut list item that were copied as properties of the drawing. So now we can check the properties of the drawing and we can see that the properties were also re written to the document properties.